The goal is to take this outlet, uh, which is designed to sit uh, on top of the floor, and make it flush with the floor, as you see here. Welcome to another episode. This is the uh, floor plate for the outlet, and you can see it has a section on the back. It's designed f so that you cut out a section this size from the floor, and then this will sit flat on the floor. But we'd like to have the top surface here be flush with the floor. Because of the chamfer around the outsides, it's kind of hard to do that. So what I'm going to do is mill off the chamfer to make this uh, exactly square with uh, the minimum, if any, chamfer on here. Um, to be able to do that, what I'm going to first do is mill out a fixture that has an opening for the back, plus four screw holes so that I can just screw it in place. This particular part was wide enough that I ran out of X-travel on the left side because of the extensions, and you can see right here it stopped as a result of over-travel. I rotated the tool pad 90 degrees and then I did uh, a great job cleaning up the surface using this dry fly which is a 2 inch diameter uh, 3 insert cutter and it's really really nice. This is milling a pocket on the fixture that I'm going to use to hold the faceplate so I can mill the outer perimeter of the faceplate. Uh, the pocket needs to be deep enough to hold the back plate that is on the faceplate and uh, it's just a pretty simple pocket. Uh, and then there are the four holes that are drilled in it for the 632 screws that uh, I'm going to use to hold the faceplate in place on the fixture while I mill the perimeter. Okay, so now for the, uh, the big moment. I took the uh, protective uh, film off of this. And then I'm going to put these, uh, carefully put the screws in to hold it in place. Uh, and the idea is that I'll take a fairly light uh, passes to uh, clean this up. Alright, it feels pretty firm, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the four edges. Uh, and then calculate the middle. So I set uh, the zero display on here, which means I can go back to the other side. And I uh, kept track of Z0 as well, so that means I can go all the way across and then bring it back to the same Z0 on the other side, and that should give me a pretty accurate position. So that gives me uh, the distance between them, which I'm seeing is 5.0132. So over here, um, I have the distance to go, which is where I was reading off the 5.0132. So what I'm going to do is on the X, I'm going to set this at the part zero over here. And then what I need to do is I need it to be to the left more than that by half of this amount. So I'll grab my calculator and I'll take Let's see, turn it on, so 5.0132 divided by 2, so it's 2.5066. So what I can do is I can type in, I'm going to subtract 2.5066, and then I'll press the right enter, and if you watch right here, it's going to say that it's greater than setting 142. I'll accept that, so watch what happens when I press Y. So now it says 8.215 is the, the center. So if I look at this side here, I have about uh, 2.4 inches. And then if I look at this side over here, it's also about 2.4 inches. So yep, I picked up the center. So now let me get the Y. And as I say, we'll be ready to give it a try.
Nice. There's a uh, <clears throat> bit of a burr around here, so I'm going to clean up the burr on the bottom first to make sure that um, yeah, this works well. Yep, which it does. It's very different from uh, deburring aluminum because it squeaks, whereas the aluminum doesn't. So I got uh, all of uh, most of each side, and now I'm just uh, getting the part that I at the very beginning of where I start to deburr it. Okay, so now I'll do the top. Okay, and that actually sounds better because the top is smoother than the bottom, most likely. Okay, and there we go. One face plate uh, ready to be put into the floor so that it's flush with the floor. Here's a before and after view, so you can see this still has the chamfer around the edges, and this is the one that I just finished milling. And I really, really like the look of this, and my wife does as well. So I'm looking forward to uh, having this put into our floor, and I think it's going to look great. The next part is a little bit tricky. Uh, first, you have to cut out a square, which of course isn't that easy. So. A contractor is using one of these uh, vibrating tools, I'm not sure what they're called, with uh, different blades to cut down through the, the flooring itself uh, up to about the, the plywood level. Then it's a matter of using a chisel to carefully chisel away the parts of the floor that is now separated from the main floor from the cuts that he put in there before. And, you know, this doesn't take too long. This is uh, the first two steps, this is the second one, are not that bad. It's the next step, which you'll see shortly, where he spent the majority of his time and uh, afterwards said, why did I agree to do this? This is the fiddly part of fitting the faceplate into the floor, which is uh, carefully scribing around the outsides and then using a chisel and going back and forth until the fit is just right. And I don't remember how long he spent on this, but certainly it was uh, quite a bit of time. This is not quite finished. Uh, as you can see, there is no electrical outlet in there yet. But the rest is pretty much ready to go. So as soon as the electrician comes and uh, hooks in the outlet, we can uh, screw this in place and it'll be good to go. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Because it's uh, flush like this, it means you're not going to trip over it if you're not using it. I've shown it with the grommet, um, which allows you to put a cord through there. and. The, because the outlet is down below, you won't have the end of the cord here visible. It will be down inside like that. So you just have uh, the thin part of the cord coming out. So it's very low profile. And you, know, you can put in uh, two grommets or, or one grommet. And when you're not using it, uh, you can uh, just put this back on and close it off so that uh, it's completely smooth and protected. So I'm really happy how that turned out.